I am the evil gamer, and you are watching the War Thunder channel. Welcome to my new series. This will be about Germany, who is quite evil during this time. I have uh, absolutely nothing right now, except like um, 800 research points into their planes so far, because of playing their naval for two games. But anyway, uh, I'm pretty excited to go into these extremely famous um, tanks from later on in World War II, and maybe in the Cold War II. Um, I know that the German tanks are very easy to play, and very rewarding, because <laughs> you don't need to know how to aim or where to aim, because you're going to have enough firepower to shoot anything, and it's going to die. And you also get really big fuck of cannons on your planes, which sounds pretty nice. And I personally know their rank 1 at least has uh, quite a few of those. And just to be clear, I am not going to be dropping the Britain series anytime soon. It's just that I want to play a nation, or a different nation, for tanks, because apparently the British tanks are dog shit, and when you shoot with them, you really need to know where you're shooting, and that sounds kinda bad for me, who struggles to get uh, 0.25 KD in uh, 1.0. And... Uh, that was an example of me missing, but I actually managed to get a kill here at the start. Perfect. Um, I feel like genuinely improved at realistic. I don't know what happened, like, I played it just a few hours, and before these games I was horrible, and after these games I am a little bit less horrible. It's interesting how much conscious practice really makes you better. I was watching some guides about using the rain, I was thinking a little bit, and he has an example of what you don't want to do. I was just, you know, trying to rush the point. I am not very fast, I am not very survivable. I also know that I'm supposed to angle, and I'm a big fan of angling. It's a pretty, a finny, pretty funny concept. So, <laughs> and that guy just died. And I have the HC-51C already with the bombs unlocked because I was playing some naval, and I tried uh, bombing those little boats with this uh, biplane, which <laughs> was quite fun. Um, but thanks to that I uh, can also use it already for the Germans, and... Uh, nice. Just nice. My first uh, research is going to be into the uh, Heinkel uh, 100A, uh, uh, I don't know, but the uh, one with the pea shooter cannons, uh, the fighter jet, just because um, I want the plane that comes after it, I don't want that plane itself, uh, nice reversal, only problem is I have 130 km per hour, so doing one loop to loop caused me to not be able to pitch up, <laughs> so I just die. Um, uh, yeah, these white planes are... Oh wow, that guy also crashed into the ground right after I died. Uh, these white planes are very unforgiving, especially this close to the ground. And I notice many of the other players are very new to this, so I'm getting completely free 1v1s with these planes, even though, you know, they're un unupgraded and quite bad. Nice hit. If only I could hit my AAA that way. That was a bit scary. I think that's a bow too, isn't it? Is it? Let me see. No, it's an F1M2. Okay. Well, basically another crop duster plane. Meant to <laughs> spread fertilizer, basically. It sounds like a meme, but it's not. I am serious. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Um, with the Germans you get three starting tanks, you get the Panzerkampfwagen um, 3E, which is by far the best, then you get the 3B, which is the 3E, but worse in every single way, and completely inutile, avoid it, and then you get this one, the P35 was this, I think so, P35T. Uh, this is not a Uber Panzerfahrkampfwagen. 
This is rather mid. It's very slow. But hey, 12th place, that might be <laughs> whatever, but I did a pretty respectable job there. I didn't die that much. I think I got two kills. I got two deaths. Pretty good start. I'm uh, I'm proud of it. I'm uh, prioritizing those turret upgrades for them, and I'm also prioritizing the firepower for this one, because... I mean, it just feels horrible when you see an enemy and you're thinking, I'm going to kill him, and then you notice your turret is pointing the other way, and you need to wait for 20 seconds. Especially if they shoot your track and then it takes 17 years. And here I got into a good uh, camping spot at the start immediately, with the Uber Camp Uber Panzer Camp Wagen 3E. Kinda hard to say for me as a non German, I need to practice it a bit. Uber Panzer Camp Wagen 3E. What is 3 in German? Oh well, let's do kills. Um, this was a very good spot. I've had a feeling it would be good because I am right next to the A spot and this is the right flank to it. The only problem is that my team got completely steamrolled there, so I feel like I need to move up there and there's an enemy right there, definitely. The far right side. Um, I did not notice it in-game because I am... Well, I'm going to be a very representative version of the German main because my god, I am blind. If something does not move, I do not see it. <laughs> um, I'm like that T-Rex from Jurassic Park, genuinely. There's somewhere with that rockets. I'm absolutely certain of that. By the, way, by the way, I think the rockets are pretty damn cool in this game. And yeah, I'm definitely dead. I think I don't have enough people to replace my gunner. I do have, but not anymore. I think if you don't have enough to have a gunner and a driver, you automatically get ejected from your vehicle. And actually in that case, I think I did have my uh, driver still alive. Okay. HE-51C again, with 6 10 kilogram bombs. Getting kills with these things, pretty satisfying. Because <laughs> you know that they are thinking, holy shit, that's so OP. Meanwhile, you're dropping basically what's equivalent to what they are shooting from their barrels. But, you know, you need to be on top of the enemy. They can shoot it from distance. TBD-1 there, Devastator went down. Um, the TBD-1 is rather squishy. And I wonder what is shooting the... Missiles, I cannot see that clearly. If you know what's shooting those missiles, please tell me. Or uh, rockets. They definitely don't have missiles at 1.0. No, nah, he's very open. He's also flying up for some reason, so that's that's just his death sentence. The only problem is that the, the biplanes literally do have not have any kind of um, power. Like... But this is worse than a lawnmower engine, I'm pretty sure. It's a light hyperberry, but you could attach this engine to a boat and it wouldn't even be that fast. You know, it's that weak. Well, you see how long I was in his gun range, even though I was dodging. But hey, because it's a pipeline, I catch on fire and I just get a little bit red and continue on my way. Oh yeah. That uh, thing shooting at me looks... What is it? Is it an open top? I don't know. But I just killed someone with my bombs. Oh yeah, baby. SU-76M. I killed the um, Russian fighter plane from 2036. After, <laughs> after they spent a few years recovering. They are going to make a new fighter plane. I just defeated it with a World War um, or an interwar plane. This thing is not very good at shooting down tanks, looking at this threat traverse. Oh my god, it looks painful. Someone is flying above me and having a good time, and I am right in the middle of here. I know that it's not good to go here, but I'm not going to be doing anything if I don't just rush here. Just trying to get something done. I have a pretty good angle actually, so I didn't die for a long time. SDKFC, 222. That's an armored car. 
I want to see what his um, SD KFC two, 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 two. Let's see Moves rapidly on roads, less rapidly off-road Oh, it's German actually, so I can actually get this one That's pretty nice It was introduced in Update Sky Guardians 7th of March 2023 When I was making my Wartaner videos, this was the new update at that point It just came like in the middle of me making those videos Now private videos on my main uh, evil channel and uh, that's the end of that match, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I got quite a few um, research uh, points for my Panther 3E. I mean, excuse me, Panzer. Uber Panzer Kampfwagen. Uber Panzer Kampfwagen. Um, I need to practice the fake German accent. I need to really larp as a German. Maybe skip the full immersion, but I do want to sound a little bit German for a bit, just for comedy. I just killed that guy again, so I'm not doing really well with the Panzer 3E. Uber Panzer Kampfwagen. Uber Panzer Kampfwagen. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. It's fair. Looks like I have quite a bit of space here And these guys are going to my side, so that's not good for them And because I'm just that good, I actually hit that guy I think that's his engine gone At least I would assume um, That sounded kinda scary That's definitely ricochet from my tank <laughs> it Somehow killed something and also ricochet at the same time Maybe my uh, gunner died of shock but uh, well, now I'm in a kind of bad position. I'm angling a bit here because I don't actually know where the um, bullet came from. I know that uh, the hit indicator actually shows you. While I was editing this video, I was looking at it to see, like, how can I see uh, where I was so that you can actually just see around your tank. Besides the fact that you also see a bullet coming sometimes. But even if I'm in scope mode, I might be able to see it. None pen. Just bounced off of him. Really good angle for him. Uh, I'm surprised that one actually bounced off. He was quite lucky. I'm in a bad position. Yeah. <laughs> um, it took a bit longer than I thought to kill that guy, to be honest. Fair player, Oban. That was kind of fair. I just didn't know where I need to shoot him again. So, well, I did say that Germans can kind of just shoot first and pray second. Uh, it looks like the reserve tanks still have kind of bad firepower. Or basically the same as everyone else. I think everyone has basically the same 37mm cannon in their reserve planes. It's already severe damage to the HS-123 Chinese version. Although that has the Republican Chinese symbol, so... This is the Republican Chinese HS-123 So basically, modern Taiwan Where? Taiwan, or Republican China was the one that was really fighting in World War II uh, Along with like 17 other Chinas, because China was uh, in a complete fucking disarray All of them united to fight Japan But the communists in the mountains, they just stayed hidden for a few years to recover their power and that's kind of what allowed them to win at the civil war in the end they had an advantageous position and uh, naturally they do claim that oh we did a lot of work but they were kind of just waiting for their time to defeat their fellow chinese uh, which is a bit scummy but i mean that's naturally like i'm just highlighting that uh, you need to remember that most nations have moments like these you know, like my nation of Finland, working with the Nazis. We, of course, we had a pretty good reason for working with them, considering the Soviets kinda asked for it, attacking us twice. Actually, it was only attacking us once, the second time we attacked them back to get back our territories, but... That was kind of a... Uh, uh, the best defense is the best offense. 
I don't know. The best offense is the best defense, that way. Let's go. Um, my plane is literally unable to pitch up. Like, playing this moment felt horrible. Like, oh my god, am I flying a kite? Or am I flying a pain? <laughs> a pain. I need to say a plane, but a pain would be pretty accurate. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> I want to upgrade this so bad. Uh, the the Heinkel 51, it like seriously is underpowered in terms of its engine. I'm not sure if this is completely upgraded, but I fucking hope so. Or uh, hope not, I mean. I hope this can be upgraded at least a little bit past this level. It's just horrible. I am basically floating in a place. Even though I was flying in a straight line for like 30 seconds, I'm going at 200 km per hour. The good thing is that that guy just flew right into the ground. I am going to give them the thank you. Although I give the uh, thank you kind of more to the enemy than to my allies, <laughs> because he just pitched down. It's very obvious that he's never played air realistic before. He's just got a plane and he's using it in this game mode. Which is natural, like you don't need to go and try air first. Okay, the P35T, I mean the Uber Panzer Kampfwagen. It's um, uh, it sounds like you are riding a lawnmower even. Oh, it's an enemy tank. What is that? A T26. So that was a Harrison tank. Oh yeah. The T26 is apparently super bad. I actually learned that. I'm learning a lot. Learning a lot. Doing the video forces me to actively learn. It's the best way to learn. And besides that, I'm a pretty smart guy. I learn pretty fast. Okay. I am uh, capturing a zone. I better not move around and die for no reason right now. I'm uh, in a pretty bad position because I have uh, no clue where the enemy is. Like I'm just... Like, I assume they would be coming from here, but I do not know. Uh, please stay at the capture point. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Don't move, don't move. Okay, take it. Okay, good. Oh yeah, I'm playing the correct way. I'm not <laughs> going forward. The fact that you can actually get a, a fucking bomber plane after taking one capture point is so bullshit though. Like, I love playing with the gas, but I, I think it's like... You need to at least be able to kill one one guy, or get an assist and capture a point to get a plane. I think it shouldn't be like that. Fair player actually killed me again, by the way. And okay. Three deaths and three kills on enemy players. So... Ta -da. And I want to, as well. Amazing stuff. I feel like the German teams tend to win a lot in this battle rating. Alright, I got the plane. HC-112, V5. This is a much less of a, a lawnmower compared to the sad and pathetic Heinkel 51, so my fighters has got upgraded way higher. The problem is I pushed my battle rating up to 1.3, but I already have adjusted to the battle rating 1.0 with the British, so I feel pretty confident in moving forward, especially because I am doing so well with the Panzerkampfwagen um, 3E. There's a lot of uh, upgrades too. Both of those turret upgrades that's going to make my turret move a little bit less like a snail and a little bit more like a seahorse. Not exactly the breakneck speeds you would hope for, but in this rating I will take it. I also uh, upgraded the crew at whatever opportunities I got. Um, for a moment I thought of like putting the Heinkel 51, and I might have put it for now. Maybe I put it for now. Oh yeah, I, I probably put it for now. I'm going to put it in after I get a few more uh, tanks. Just to, you know, stay at 1.0. It's a pretty unique experience, and I do need to learn all of the uh, reserve tanks at least. I do now know that the Panzer 3F is the 1.3 Panzer, by the way. Oh, by the way, I learned uh, how to use this map. I have a spot I like. Um, no stabilizer at the moment. I definitely would have liked to land my shot there, but hey, it is what it is. Um, I am landing my... 
hits on him, but that's not going to do anything. He's frontal towards me. He's a real tank. He's not going to be defeated by these machine guns here. But this spot. For a moment I thought of going forward here. No brain mode. Oh, but then I remembered. Oh wait, I have an editing software. No worries, I can just edit me waiting for someone to come here. And that guy did not know what was going on. The doom buggy has been doomed. Um, I am a bit confused here, I do not know where to go. I kinda want to go forward, I kinda want to go to the side, but there's a problem, because I saw on the minimap that there is something happening over here. And, uh, I'll wait a second here. Just a moment. There he is. Um, he took out my gunner. Unfortunately. I'm surprised he was able to pen me there. And, um, I mean, he didn't just take out my gunner. He's taken out three of my five crewmates and the one is in re yellow. So he was very close to killing me there. But, uh, I am not good at baby. Still going strong. Oh yeah. There's two enemies there. Um, a uh, armored car of sorts. And that tank. A BT-7. He was hit from the side. I was able to one shot him luckily enough. And uh, now I just have the car left. I'm just a bit scared because yeah, my crew is nearly dead. But after a few seconds of pep talk, they were ready to go in and die for the uh, fatherland. And as you can see, the turret traverse is now truly uh, lightningly quick after those upgrades incredible i think this is one of the slowest turret um, turn rates in the game but it is perfectly okay uh, it's good that i'm learning to play with a very slow turret traverse first instead of a very fast that is an enemy is that a i think that's a t26 i'm not sure though i'm being shot don't worry, I am angling. Completely okay. Now, what tank is here? What are you? What exactly? That's an AT-26! At oh, oh yeah. That guy's a slide it. It's green. So if it's green and it looks kind of like that, it's T-26. And if it's um, grey and it looks kind of like that, it's at the Parser Kampwaken 35T. Oh yeah, moving shot. Uh, I don't know what I hit there, I think that's the transmission, or the engine, I don't know, but it's black, that's probably not good for him. Oh yeah, the turret is turning, lightning liquid. The peak of uh, 1936 technology. I imagine there's Hans inside the tank, uh, moving a uh, handle <laughs> to, to <laughs> move the turret sideways, as if like he's opening a window. The hand crank. I don't know if that's actually how it works, but I do imagine it would be. Where are the enemies? It's kind of scary. But those houses look nice. Okay, someone shot me there. Um, I have no idea where they are, so I'm just blindly moving, hoping for the best. Hoping for a better vis uh, visibility. It's a T26, I think, as well. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a D26 again. I, I was able to ID. Okay, looks like there's something soft attacking me, but I have no idea why I'm not hitting. Um, he's shooting at me and somehow I'm not able to land anything on him. Not sure why. Anyway, it's kinda scary. Come on, die already. The only problem is, as you can see, is that my crew is uh, rather not okay. Where is he attacking me from? I cannot see. What happened with that? Well, it was some kind of a... Uh, um, there was two different autocannons there attacking me. It was a Soviet technical and that thing. I think that was Italian. And I did spawn my plane in, but I couldn't get anything done because yeah, that, that was over. I got five kills with the, that tank. And the B... Ah, uh, 3E. Panzerkampfwagen 3E Panzerkampfwagen uh, I imagine that's the same one as the Swedish Kamper Panzerkampf uh, something Wagen Wagen 
I know how to pronounce it at least in Swedish, so that's something. Because unlike French, I actually speak some Swedish. Um, to the level that I was barely able to pass the first Duolingo courses. Which it was quite embarrassing after studying the language for a few years, but... I mean, it's all about forgetting and re-remembering. Like I did those Duolingo classes and I was able to re-remember pretty fast. It's just that I was never a big fan of studying it because I live in Eastern Finland. And that's the 15 centimeter SKLR. I'm going to cut here for a bit, but yeah, I did reorganize my cruise a bit. Got my fighters and my bombers there. That's going to be my fighter and my bomber for the following matches, and then I go I'm going to have room for four tanks. I prefer having it like this because you just get more options for what you can pick out into the battle. And fortunately for me, I got the same map where I did really well the last time, so I already know what to do. I don't even try to stay here and take some pot shots because that's kind of risky, even though I do have pretty good armor for 1.0. Actually 1.3 now because I do have the plane, the fighter plane, I need to remember that. But okay, here I am now in my starting spot and as you can see it's actually pretty damn good. You know, just a little. And there's a little Swedish tank trying to get past me. The V there in his name is definitely Wagon. So, I don't know what the other ones are doing. Okay, that one is attacking me, but I am angling so easy. BT5, dead. I know he doesn't have that very strong armor, so that's good for me. You know, maybe the German I Germany is for me because I am naturally angling myself. It's my like instincts instinctual response. Like it's actually again I'm angling. Oh my god. I'm just automatically doing it. And, the goat. and that's already three things are at three kills at the start. The only problem is okay, someone's strafing me, that's whatever. They don't do any damage to me. Uh, but that does. That is not ideal. Looks like my angling was not enough. <laughs> Naturally. Where did he? He just went right through me. And blasted all of my crew at the same time and caused me basically to explode. The BT-7 is slightly higher better rating than that plane, so it's fair. Alright, fighter plane time. Unupgraded. This is not maybe the most powerful plane. This is... The reason actually why Germany decided not to use this plane was because this was horribly underpowered and when they made the more powerful version, you know, the Heinkel 100 and D1 you know, instead it became a radiator that went down after being hit once so it was like, it went from the opposite problem to the opposite problem while keeping the main problem as well, that they barely had any firepower and no armor so yeah, this was just an inferior design to the uh, BF-109 so it's kind of relegated to history, sadly Although I'm actually a really big fan of how these planes look. Like these are the this is maybe my favorite looking plane in tier one in total. Like look at that beautiful silver color. Uh, look at the open cockpit. Like it's nice. Really, really nice. And that pipeline just got squatted out. Teamwork. I am the bait and my ally is the executioner. The unfortunate thing with this thing is that you're going to be facing biplanes and now that my engine is not upgraded and my guns are rather weak, I am forced to play really slowly against them, I cannot like turn the same way that they can. So I don't know if this is ideal for this uh, compared to the Heinkel 51. It might be that the Heinkel is actually more effective, you know, just because uh, you get to do things faster. And annoying I-15 like that. Sir, if I was in an angle, I would be dead right now because I would not be able to outrun it, but I don't know if it's even worth it to outrun, because this takes so long. Because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go repair myself at the airfield. Yeah. Time to repair. Oh, that was fast. Maybe it was worth it. Like, I didn't notice the repair took literally like, you just touch down and you just respawn. 
just joking. But, alright, back to the fight. Uh, I sure hope I get to do something now after um, recovering my brain like that. For the next game I'm going to play, or the next matches, oh, I, I think I should have gone for the a AAA there, to be honest. I think I would have preferred that in hindsight. I think the AAA was very open there for my strafing. This, uh, this plane does not have that much firepower, especially without the universal belts even. But it's definitely going to kill a technical, you know. The Iraqi tech is not going to be defeat me here. Alright, he hid behind the building. Like over. <laughs> and came back for us. <laughs> Drive by. I think he played that pretty well, to be honest. Like, pretty creatively. That's fun. And yeah, uh, I'm just judging his bullet spray based on his tracers. That's why you probably want to use uh, stealth belts or something like that after you get really comfortable with the way that your bullet flies. Because yeah, this makes it easier for you to track, but also for your opponent. And I am not able to defeat him. The Italian technical gets the better of me. Or actually that's definitely a reason. And I only got 10th place because I was playing around with my fighter jet. Fighter jet. Fighter plane. So, just 10th place, but that doesn't matter that much. I'm not going for a super high kill, um, kill a game record, you know. <laughs> I just want to improve my basics. I want to make myself a more complete player. And to have fun. And it's fun to go <laughs> and repair your plane after defeating someone. Fuselage repair radiator and I'm going to get those bullets, I think. I think those bullets would be pretty nice. I think those bullets would be pretty nice. Please take the bullets. Okay, whatever. It's, it doesn't matter. I think I should take them next to. Okay, goddammit. Uh, I take those bullets. But that uh, that just gave me a lot of uh, needed engine power. Okay. I did take a bit of a shot there to my uh, driver's hats. But I am alive. I just lost half of my crew. And nearly lost all of my crew, actually. I imagine if my... oh wow, my... Did my crewmate just bleed to death or something? Did you see that? Like my uh, uh, rightmost crewmate there. Oh, wait, it just got changed. That's why that makes sense. Oh my god, I'm stupid. He just changed with someone who was dead. Now he's manning the gun. I was actually really close to dying there at the start, but... Thankfully I was able to get to the capture point. Now, no one's gonna be able to contest me here. This tank is actually really fast. I was watching some videos about this. After playing these matches, by the way. But anyway... They mentioned that the Panzer... Panzerkampfwagen 3B and the 3E are basically the same in terms of speed, but no, this is like twice as fast. Like, the stats are lying a little bit, like this is not 71 km per hour fast. But, this is... A lot faster. Damn. I couldn't get the kill. That was again with the lack of stabilizer there. And my... I'm not accustomed to movement for moving it so much. And yeah, I got attacked because I moved forward. So if I stayed put there, just waited for him to come to my gun, I would have probably gotten a second kill there. But hey, you live and you learn. BB1. He is on fire. That's probably not good for him, I'd say. And well, my pilot, pilot is actually able to black out with this plane. You know it's kind of helpless when this plane makes you black out. Like this is genuinely uh, two times slower than uh, some of the planes I'm going to be getting pretty soon. Not that much slower, but still. This isn't like a disgustingly slow plane. For 1.3 this is actually pretty respectable. Like for example I'm able to outrun the biplanes with my boom and zoom. Then I hit behind the hill for a moment and there's an opportunity for me again. Easy money. By the way I was watching a, uh, a video about polyglots and I just found it so funny. 
Like the way people will say that they are polyglots for the littlest things. Like if we go by the strict definition of baby. Oh my god, I just got pulled to death. <laughs> that does not happen often. Well, that's unlucky. Or maybe it's not unlucky and he's just a goat. Oh, that's kinda cool. But I was watching these videos about the hyper polyglots and the way that they are calling their uh, ability to speak a language is basically like they're able to speak one sentence bro that's not a language you speak that's a sentence it, but it wouldn't sound as impressive if you said you know how to uh, speak 25 sentences I just got shot there he is I can land on him too but yeah imagine someone said I am a, a poly poly sentencist I'm able to speak 20 sentences yeah, as you can see here, the red thing highlights to show that I was shot from behind, again. So I can see it's actually there, but uh, while I was playing this game I didn't really know where I need to see it. Like I'm just instinctually reacting to it, but I haven't processed the fact that I can see it and yeah, I got killed by him from behind. Um, I could have probably been able to kill him if... If I realized in time, and I could have angled myself maybe a little bit and turned my <laughs> turret at least, but um, well, at least I don't need to play the 3B anymore and suffer. Although it's, it's in that position, it was the literal same as the 3E, so no complaining, just fucked up. But anyway, my opponent decided to turn his back on the enemy. Too bad for you, I am not a high elo player, I will spawn as long as I can spawn. I feel I lose money just to kill you. That man hit behind the rock there. I don't think he's coming out. In fact, um, he came out as a fireball on the other side of it. There's a plane. This match is... Uh, I need to fast forward, by the way. This is 10 times speed. This tank is genuinely awful. It took me 4 minutes to drive here and drive back to the middle. Like, I'm not able to find any enemies. I drove into their base and back onto a, an objective that they are fighting at, right? Like, I drove to their base, waited for a bit, and drove <laughs> to the objective. And I couldn't find anyone in four minutes because my... my little piece of tin was so slow. The, that tank actually has a lawnmower engine. It's not Hyper Bowl. You are going to find lawn mowers with more horsepower than that. I want to see how many it actually has. I'm probably not going to look at it, but if I look at this for example. Okay, here. Where's the horsepower? 265. Okay, that one is a bit higher. But um, I looked online at the horsepower of the uh, Panzer Kampfwagen 35T. The stock horsepower is 106 in a realistic and 120 fully upgraded. Yes. 120. You can find a 1995 Lada with that amount of horsepower and about 7 times less weight to carry around. Actually, let's see how heavy it is. I'm curious. How heavy is this? Hmm. Where is it? 10.5 tons. Yeah, it's like 10 times heavier than a Lada, but has the same horsepower and it's on tracks, so it's even slower. Can you hear the enemy? I was able to hear the enemy there. And I did, went for the little shot, but the lack of stabilizer really hurts. I tried to attack him there, but I could. I... He just bounced that. Wow. He just ate my shot completely. And um, yeah, maybe I should have used the armor pen there. Maybe that would have helped. I'm surprised though that he was able to eat my shot like that from the front. I probably needed to aim a little bit higher to defeat him. But <laughs> the nice thing is I got the zone, so oh yeah, it is the fighter plane time. And that is uh, definitely a technical, and that's going to be soft enough for me to defeat. Oh yeah. 
Actually, it wasn't even a technical, that was a, a real weapon. It just was opened up, so it was very, very, very sensitive to me. Okay, two planes. Uh, the one above me, I already saw from his burst there that he sucks ass. So I'm going to be okay even in that 2v1. The other one is just ignoring me and going for um, the ground targets. He's, it's like he's a bot or something. This guy at least is trying to do something, but obviously I have better turn rate and I'm way, way faster than him. So I'm going to be able to attack him. The only problem is that my uh, gun, like I have the default no crew upgrades on the gun and the default gun and it's already one that likes to jam and has very low firepower so yeah it's a bit frustrating okay go for a little loop to loop i would have liked to reverse it but uh yeah my there there got clipped this man is now very low and uh, because he got my tail fin there he actually is able to turn better than me and gets me if he didn't hit the shot on my tail, I would have been able to defeat him as well. But that's pretty good already. Two kills on the Heinkel 110, 12, And then I took the Flak Panzer and I was driving into the battlefield for two minutes and I couldn't get there in time. Because it was unupgraded and very very slow. I need to get the tracks and stuff for it to upgrade. Or uh, to upgraded. What the hell I mean? This is the main focus right now, because I got <laughs> all of my experience basically for this one. Okay, nice. Now I have real bullets. I am angling again. Oh yeah. Get angled. Easy. Okay, this is not an angle. I do not want to be shot right now. Uh, but it's okay. They didn't shoot me, so it was all okay. Planned out. I knew there a reload time. Well, now I'm in a really good position because I think they don't know where I am. And that man just spontaneously combusted before I got, I could get to him. Which is potentially pretty good for me because he was already stopped. So we, he could have gotten the first shot if he was looking at me. I was a BD-5. He is no longer a BD-5. He's going to be coming in with a T-26 probably. The enemy has almost all of the zones already somehow. And uh, I am in a 3v1 right now. This guy. Yeah, he's uh, the most easily penetrated. The tank destroyer might be a bit of a problem. But would you win? Or would you lose? Nah, I win. Oh yeah. And that's uh, two guys already dead. And now I had to find the uh, last one. He's a squishy, I think. I just need to defeat him and then I'm going to be okay. And, um, unfortunately, look at look at how close I was to shooting that guy. I think he would have died if I got to have my shot off. I think we would have uh, gone one for one if I had an upgraded crew. Slightly more upgraded crew. Little, little, little bit upgraded. So that was a bit unlucky. I can hear the shots majestically sailing past me, so someone is definitely attacking me. And nicely I got two hits on that guy after he hit himself with the bomb. Pro style. I totally didn't do that last video like 17 times because I forgot to set the fuse. But that means I get the kill. That is perfect. I am also basically undamaged and I have a lot of energy here, so I'm in a pretty good spot. Like, even though this this is an IA-15, unfortunately I couldn't get my guns onto him one time. But even though he's an I-15, I'm actually in a pretty good spot right now. I have so much speed, I can fly away from him. And I saw here, he started to do some weird stuff, so I actually could get to have the attack on him, but I forgot I am a flying alone mower and I couldn't get my guns onto him again. And this time he goes vertical, he stalls out. Um, that's obviously not very good for him. Unfortunately, I am flying a lawnmower and I cannot get him again. But he loses control completely. And in my opinion, this should be my kill. But my teammate with the AAA gets the kill because he mopped him up, you know, when I was 
about to come for him and when I made him, you know, stall out. But anyway, the game cannot count me <laughs> getting the enemy into that state to give me the, you know, home run. I got the home run and my ally there just ran the yard <laughs> and got to the base. That was the equivalent right there. I'm definitely dead here. Nice. One air target. You know. Not as good as the previous one, but 464 points. And uh, sorry guys for not playing at the 15 centimeter gun. I'm going to be doing it next episode. I just ended up in a situation where I wasn't using it. So I apologize, I'm going to be using it in my next gaming session. Because I mean, come on, I need to play it with the 15 centimeter howitzer. That is ma magnificent, really. And nice, I got the zone with the flag panzer, that means I am going to get some kind of points. And there is an enemy armored car there, and he was looking at me, I was not looking at him, unfortunate. So yeah, he kills me, and actually he penetrated my hull, so even if I was looking at him, I would have still died. Which is surprising, I didn't know he could pen penetrate there. Alright, night. The Panzer, Panzer Kampfwagen 35T doing its work. Uh, but, I mean, the enemy has all three objectives, I just got a kill, you know. The kill, <laughs> kill feels good, but it doesn't really matter. Actually, I got five kills and three deaths again. So, your boy is averaging above one KD. Are you proud? They grow up so fast. Like, I literally do only have, maybe... I've never gotten to rank 2 on ground, ever. And I played a few games of arcade when I was little, <laughs> literally almost 10 years ago. And then I played a few games for my channel because I was making videos on War Thunder. And then... I mean, my total battle hours, by the way, I changed the music here for... Uh, because I got abused in this match. But... My total hours spent in game in uh, tank realistic is maybe two and a half hours total, three hours before this. So I definitely am not a pro. It's very obvious. Okay, that was a kind of bad mistake by me. I tried to get the desert point like that, and oh my god, turn the fucking gun. That as you two had absolutely no business not being shot by my tank gun. But I am, I was driving with the hand crank 3000, so I was unable to. And yes, I took out the 15 centimeter gun and yeah, I just got assassinated. Chul XX, Chul XX, Marv XX. Or Marx XX. It looks kind of metal. My flag panzer also needs the turret rotation upgrade for sure. Oh wow. This is an absolute hell zone. <laughs> My god. By the way, at this song I put here. It's one of my absolute favorites, and the nice thing about it is that it's uh, copyright free, and it doesn't really have real words, so I can actually use it in my video, and you're going to understand what's happening. At least for me, my brain doesn't process these sounds uh, as uh, human speech, so I'm able to understand things. And a Daimler armored car just took me out. That's the car I unlocked for the British, I think. I think so, yeah. But yeah, I've been abused this game. At least my flag panzer did its job and shot down a plane. Console player is not allowed. Okay. And a uh, drastic change. I went into the ruined out Krakow or whatever this place is. What map is this actually? I'm not sure. Anyway. It's an RVT. It's an American tank. Looks like I am penetrating him with the machine gun. But there's one guy at the back there. 
I don't want to shoot his side from this angle because I think his track is going to eat it, but yeah, I just got an assist. Unfortunately, that was kind of hard to kill from my angle. Like, uh, I could have just. Oh, that's an armored car. Oh uh, man, that was so close. I did kill one of his crewmates there from that hit, but it was a near miss. Now he's definitely not doing it, and uh, he did actually live. <laughs> Somehow, like, even though I did manage to land my um, literal tank tank gun onto him, he did not die uh, directly from it. But at least I did get an assist. I'm just a helpful teammate right now. Someone just attacked me. I couldn't see the red circle thingy. I'm not sure where they are. But I mean, I'm definitely going to find out. Okay, there he is. Yeah, there. On the road, looking at me. Unf unlucky there that he got my gunner, because I could have shot him. Again, a BT-7. They seem to be pretty dangerous. Or maybe they are just really popular, but I definitely have been killed by them many times. Many a time. Ah, I have a hair in my mouth, excuse me. <laughs> my own hair, too. Suspicious. Okay, remember to change to the universal. Let's go. Heinkel. It, it's got the V piston uh, or 5 piston loadout. I believe that's what the V means in this at least. <laughs> nice. With that one hit, I got the kill because he flew into the building. Heinkel 112 V. I think the V definitely does feel or mean the piston layout. It's just that it's 5 piston engine. At least I assume so. Severe damage? That is two plane kills in one of my life. My life, two planes. Now why spawn AEA when you can play with this? I am getting shot from behind, but that doesn't really matter. I want to save my ally here. The Italian plane, BA65. BA, there he goes. F2A, down. Uh, now, where is the guy who attacked me as well? It's uh, the American uh, spawns. American spawns. But the nice thing is that you go through it with machine guns, so I already know that I can actually damage it. Look at this. I'm going right through him. He's just so big that it's kind of hard to kill him like that. If I had a... Um, the 1.7 version of this plane, I could actually kill him though. There is uh, an AAA. Actually, I think that's a uh, tank shooting at me because of the way those bullets are going all over the place. Yeah, one sort of tank shooting me. And I am strafing it with my ally and almost eating a bullet to my uh, um, pilot, which is not ideal. That guy lost his third control, so basically he's already my kill right now. He would, like if no one goes to finish him off, I would get the kill. And unfortunately someone does go to finish him off, so I don't get it. It is unlucky. But on hand. And that's two air targets and one death. So again, positive KD. Surprising enough. But that was the final game of this gaming session. Which was, by the way, 2.5 uh, or two and a half hours long. Which might be hard to believe considering the video itself is only 54 minutes. And yeah, and though 117 was that, um, that plane is really good. It's extremely strong with its guns and it's extremely durable. And it's pretty fast for this BR as well, still. So it's a definite recommendation for a gas aircraft. And this plane is almost upgraded now, which is nice. Just the cover missing. Flak Panzer also got to go faster now, which is very much needed. And I definitely need the adjustment of fire and horizontal drive for it as well. That's going to be coming in the next episode. And well, sadly, I didn't research that much, but thank you for watching, everybody, and see you next time. Bye bye, and have a nice day.